festivals aren't always on the dinner plate in some households. Well, health experts say if we all ate more veg, it could prevent around 20,000 deaths a year. And that's why ITV is supporting a new campaign called Veg Power. In just a moment, we shall be talking to celebrity chef Hugh Fernley Whittingstall. But first, Ashna Hurrydad reports on the difference a few veggies a day can make to our lives and health. Power up with greens and beans. That's the message from experts at this summit who warn our diets are leading to high levels of obesity and type 2 diabetes. The cure to eat more vegetables. It's getting people who put prepared meals on our plates, whether it's through schools or hospitals, or whether um, it's in the local takeaway or the pub, um, making sure that there's more veg on the menu and more veg integrated into those dishes. From doctors to celebrity chefs, they're all backing a campaign to inspire parents and children to get more of the good stuff into their diets. But for mother of four, Kathleen Kerridge from Portsmouth, healthy eating isn't easy when money's tight. It is so difficult. I'm not going to stand here and pretend that it's really easy to eat healthy on a budget. I mean, you go round all of the shops and everything else and you see all of the produce and you want to buy it, but the cost can be prohibitive for a lot of families. And it definitely was in our case. The Veg Power campaign comes after a recent report revealed that 95% of teenagers and 80% of children don't eat enough vegetables. Also, despite the hours of television adverts on our screens every single week, only 1.2% of advertising on food and drink on television is spent directly focusing on vegetables, something people here are trying to change. As of January, ITV will run a national advertising campaign worth £2 million to change the way people think and feel about their vegetables. I'm super excited. I don't think we've... It's an unprecedented opportunity for, for getting our kids loving veg. From soup through to frozen peas and raw broccoli. However we eat them, this campaign is on a mission to get everyone singing along to the same tune. Ashna Harinag, ITV News. Food for thought, easy to say, but is it as easy as it sounds? And so supporting the Veg Power campaign is TV chef Hugh Fernley Whittingstall of River Cottage fame. And Hugh Fernley Whittingstall joins us now. Hugh, thank you so much for being there for us. You were a notorious carnivore. Are you now telling us we should all become vegetarians? No, I'm not saying that. Uh, even as an enthusiastic carnivore, I've always emphasized uh, just how important it is that we all eat plenty of veg. But also just what great ingredients vegetables are. You know, they really are uh, the palette of, of flavors and textures and colors that offers the most to, to cooks. And uh, as well, of course, as the fact that we know they literally do us a power of good. And we're not eating enough, there's no doubt about that. We all need to be eating much more veg. So how, is it e how easy is it for mums and dads to get more fruit and vegetable into the family diet? Well, we know it's a challenge. And we also know that the sort of finger-wagging approach, the eat your five a day, hasn't been that effective. You know, we, we also know that the families know they need to be eating uh, veg, more veg and more fruit, but they are finding it really hard, and we've got to make it easier for them. And that's why today's announcement is exciting, because we're going to now see a really creative piece of work uh, on mainstream television with two million pounds of free advertising for ITV, the sole and, and, and kind of focused aim of which is to get children inspired about vegetables. It won't be finger-wagging, it won't be hectoring, it won't just be eating your greens. It'll be a really inspiring, fun, exciting piece of creative advertising. Now, pumpkins are a good autumn vegetable. Do you have one top tip for us novice cooks? Yeah, I mean, at this time of year, a lot of people would say make pumpkin soup. But I think I have a, a better idea. Those squashes and pumpkins, cut them out into chunks and... Uh, toss them in a little bit of oil, not too much, but season them well with salt and pepper, some spices if you like, and roast them in the oven like they were roast potatoes. Get those crispy caramelized edges and make them really, really tasty. Hugh, we're on the way around now for supper. Thank you very <laughs> much indeed. Lovely talking to you both. Thank you. Well, that's supper sorted out, thank you. Oh, lovely. Good one. In the meantime, how's this for bench bar? 
Two gardeners in the New Forest 